Hey guys, this is Elena Alter. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Uh, I am so excited to share with you guys my competition that happened this past Saturday, Rural Rumble number four in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, myself and a bunch of other of the women that I train with competed and it went really well. It was a beautiful day. Um, so I have some competition footage that I wanna share with you that I got from a couple different people who supported me. And I'm gonna walk you guys through each event, what I was thinking, how I prepared and like what ended up happening and a little bit about the mental health side about how I prepare for my events and what I do. Some of you may have seen some of my Instagram posts about my events, um, but I wanna go into a little bit more depth with this video. So thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you guys in the commentary. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hi guys, welcome to the commentary for this competition. We start out here with my deadlift attempts. It was our first event and Saturday's competition, so we just jumped right in. I had a big goal of hitting 305 in the competition, and um, I'm just so excited to share with you that this went really well. Um, one of the things that I use to prep for a competition is to use song anchors, and today's song anchor for the deadlift was called songs of ascent the highlands and it was a song brian and i had listened to throughout going to colorado and it's just this beautiful song by hillsong and it talks about how god is with you in the highs and the lows in the mountains and the valleys you are not alone and it just really reminded me a lot of the suffer beautifully mentality and how we're not always going to get everything we want and everything isn't going to always go our way but we can still believe in a god who's faithful and who cares for us and that was just something that meant a lot to me and i decided to just connect that to this lift um also, when I was nervous, I was definitely doing some deep breathing and just remembering my song. I actually played it in the background. Nobody could hear it. But um, then we move on to the um, sandbag toss. And the song that I used just for this was a really popular song by Lauren Daigle. And it's called You Say. And it's no matter what. It's about knowing who God says you are. You are loved. You are strong. You are held. You belong. You know, in this life, we're just looking for purpose and meaning. And I just felt like this song was beautiful. I got a lot of people really liking the the videos of me just throwing that sandbag over. And I think there's just something about that motion. And it's really fun, actually. And it's something I worked hard to get better at. Um, and I was able to progress each time if you check out my Instagram. So thanks so much for checking that out with me. But that song... It's just incredible if you get a chance to listen to it. This, the um, Fingal Fingers, I had not touched since, like, last year's competition. And I was a little bit careful with these. I should have gone faster. Like, as you see me, I'm, like, walking around, shaking things out. This is a timed event, and so next time I will be moving a lot faster. Um, but it's okay. I was really, did not want to hurt myself. Every time I walk away with bruises from these things are hard, they're rusty, um, they're heavy. This is 300 pounds. Um, I, you know, it's way over double my body weight. And, um, I hadn't pressed it in a while. So I do it like a tire flip, but that's how I did it. And then a Viking press. I just knew I wasn't able to get that pop that I needed to be able to lock out the, um, pole. And I knew I would let it drop on my head. So I... I just really quick, I had 15 seconds left, and then I went back and just did the 200-pound pull. The song that I had attached to that was called Reckless Love, and it's by Bethel, and just it's just knowing that you're loved and knowing that no matter what, um, there's someone who does love you and, and cares about you. Um, this event was such a blast. The Yoke to Farmers is such an athletic, strongman event and such a blast. So this was just all about kind of like walking in victory over my fears, over my disappointments, and just saying no to fear. Um, and it's just such a really fun song. So if you ever get a chance to listen to On the Shores by Bethel, it's about kind of where I get the hashtag joy within. If you check that song out, you'll know why. This next uh, medley was dedicated to um, the Walk for Freedom Day for anti-slavery and anti-sex tra sex trafficking. There, I'm really all about supporting um anything that has to do with that and just making sure that people around the world can be free. So this was dedicated to them. And the Waymaker song is just about how God makes a way in the darkness. And even if you can't see it, he's always, he's always there. He's always working for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this competition video. This is Elena Alsru. Thank you so much. I hope some of what I shared was encouraging to you and could help you guys. Um, if you're competing or if you're going for a job interview or you're trying something new for the first time, um, this was an awesome experience and I'm so grateful 
grateful that I got the opportunity to talk to you guys about it. And then it went well and my friends and I all had a really cool time. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.